Yeah, that, I put this up to always frame my talk. Since I'm from out of town, I must be an expert. So I just wanted you all to know how other experts do you know, historically. Um, this is one of the sort of the fun talks I do. And what I'm trying to do in a very short time is give you some what I consider some of the real highlights or important tidbits out of the graduate class I teach on wealth management, masters and PhD students. Um, Hopefully, you'll find it kind of fun and interesting. So, and I do apologize because of the structure. I don't have anything to look at in front of me, so I have to keep turning around here. Um, well, there we go. Okay, six things to know. First one, squaring of the curve. It's no surprise, I think, to any of y'all that we're living longer today. And these are some of the statistics. Uh, you know, a couple of their 65, uh, one of the two is likely to live to 91. There is a general belief and a lot of research that suggests the older you get, in effect, you're gonna be sick and you're gonna spend less money. Uh, I don't think that's particularly true. There is something called squaring of the curve uh, by a friend who is a, a, a PhD, calls himself a, a gerontological financier. But the idea is, as we get older, we may get sicker. We don't necessarily spend less. Well, Dean and I, my wife, have taken a number of really nice cruises, very expensive. And these are a couple of shots. Uh, this was at the <laughs> hotel. We were getting ready to go, go to the ship, and this is one of the passengers. Uh, this is boarding the ship. This is on the ship. So just because people are getting older doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be spending less. So it's a very dangerous assumption, I believe, in planning. Um, there's a philosophical construct, uh, Pascal's wager, somewhat simplistically like this. If you knew that there was only a 20% chance that God existed, and you could decide not very good odds, so I will ignore ethics and I'll just do anything I want to do. And if you died, and there was no God, you won the lottery. On the other hand, if you died and there was a God, fire and brimstone forever. So the consequences, even though the probability is low, are pretty catastrophic. On the other hand, if you assume, well, low odds, but I'll still live an ethical life, you died, there was no God, still had a pretty good life. And if you died, you know, you won the lottery. The point is, we tend to forget the consequences. Particularly in planning, we focus on probabilities and probabilities. But we all too often forget to ignore the consequences of even low probabilities. And so what's that have to do with retirement planning? It's dangerous to make the assumption that many people do. We are, I'll never live that long. <laughs> Well, if you don't, that's not really the issue. You're dead. Who cares? The risk is living longer than you think you might and ignoring that probability. 